today we're going to go over an X pattern foiling. And if you look at the top of the mannequin right now, you can see where she's got an X through the top of her head. There's a parting from right above the recession area on the right side of the head all the way to behind the crown on the opposite side of the head. Then on the left side, we have a panel from right above recession area and it will follow across to the opposite side behind the crown. So I'm gonna go over really quick the tools we're gonna to use today. You of course will need your gloves. You'll need your product, your color bowl, and your color brush. You'll need your, your foils, and again, those foil sizes will be dependent on the amount of hair that you're working with. Your metal tip rat tail comb for foiling, and your clips. Okay, so a couple of things I want to go over before we get started with this is this X pattern foiling can replace a partial foil. If you do the X pattern, it actually covers a little bit more area on the head, and you can use the same amount of your foils from your 10 to 12. It may take a little bit more. And also, you may want to note that right in that very front hairline, there's a triangle piece that's out. You may need to go in and add a few highlights in this area. But again, this is a great technique to get a little bit more coverage, but still use a partial foiling. So we're gonna start in our back left panel, and we're gonna work in different directions, but we're gonna start in the back and we're gonna work our way forward, and then we'll move to the front. We'll start at the front and work our way back where this hair is sectioned off or split. You can use this pattern with a weaving technique or a slicing technique or you can do a combination. So I've gone in and I've taken my quarter of an inch slice. I'm gonna slice off the top of that. Quarter of an inch, I'm gonna come in and weave slightly. You can make that weave heavier if you like. Today, just for the demo purposes, I'm just gonna do a light weave. You wanna pull that hair over the edge of the foil, just like you would in your normal foiling technique. Place that product underneath the edge, work it through those ends, get those ends up nice and neat. Go back and work that to about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the foil. You want to do your one fold. We're going to use the same folding or folding pattern that we normally do. So you're going to fold up once, fold up again and then fold in your two sides, making sure not to fold in past your partings. Come in again, your quarter of an inch. You can move further apart in this pattern also. Again, it just depends on the amount of highlights that you're wanting to see on the top of the head or that your client is wanting to see. Then our quarter of an inch, I'm gonna slice off the top of that quarter of an inch. Create my weave really light weave, you're gonna, that's gonna be determined by what you and your client decide during your needs assessment and your consultation on how heavy your weave pattern's gonna be. Again, I'm gonna come in under that edge of the foil, work that product down to the ends, go back, work it about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the foil, edge of the foil. fold up once, again and then fold in both sides you want to make sure that that foil is folded out of your way because as we work up the head we have these other two areas that we have to work in also so i'm going to continue this pattern until i get to this parting here i have on the top of the head and then we're going to turn the mannequin around and work from front to back and we'll come back then okay so now we've completed our back left panel and we're going to work on our right front panel we're gonna work from the front hairline and work our way back. First thing we're gonna do is make sure the hair we're not working with is out of the way. You're gonna come in and take a slice right out that front hairline just because we don't want any highlights right on that very front. I'm gonna come in, take a quarter of an inch parting. It's almost a, in a diagonal back parting. I'm gonna take a thin slice off the top of that quarter of an inch. I'm gonna come in and weave, a very light weave. I'm 
place my foil right in the front. Make sure that the edges of those foils are down. Work my product, make sure that that hair is onto the foil. Again, remember, just like any other foil work that you're doing, you don't wanna come in like this with your color brush. You wanna lay that color brush flat and work that product through the hair, not comb it through because you can remove product off of the hair if you try combing it through. Go back, hold that foil to the scalp, work that product up to about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the foil. Do your first fold up. Make that nice and neat. Fold up again and then your nice little packet. Now come back again, take another quarter of an inch parting. Again, that is almost a diagonal back parting. Make sure that's nice and neat. The hair that you're not working with is out of your way. Come in and slice off that quarter of an inch. Once you take your slice, come in and do your weave. If your weave is too heavy, just go in and take some of that out. Don't lay it back down. Pull that hair over the foil. Apply your product. Work that product through to the ends. Keep in mind, just like we did with our other foil work, you don't wanna work that product right to the edge of the foil because when we go to fold up, that area is gonna hit the hair right at the scalp and cause some bleeding or what we call those little ghost lines. Normally when you're working with a product that has ammonia in it or an alkalizing agent, you're gonna have some swelling, whether it's lightener or color. Just keep that in mind when you're doing your foil work. So I'm gonna keep working back to my center. We'll come back and show you the finished product and then we'll work to our other panels that create our X pattern. Okay, so we've completed our very first panel. Now, I did have that one panel broken up in two. If you refer back to your diagram, this was supposed to be just one rectangle section right here through um, the center to create an X. But what we did was we worked from back to front to the center and then from front to back to that center part. So now we're gonna begin on our right back side we're going to work from bottom work our way up and then we'll go back to the front left side and work from front to center so we're going to come in and take our quarter of an inch parting just like we have every other time hair that we're not working with is up and out of our way what we'll do in this section and you can change it up if you'd like but i'm just going to show you the slicing technique that quarter of an inch party might have taken a nice thin slice. Work that over the edge of my foil. Put that product there under the edge of my foil, making sure that it's that hair is stuck to the foil. Work that product down through the edges. Go back that up to an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the foil. Fold up once. Nice and neat, fold up again. And again, we're creating that nice little package for that hair to sit in. Come in again, quarter of an inch parting. Make sure that parting is nice and neat. The hair that we're not working with is up and out of our way. Pick that quarter of an inch up. Make a nice thin slice off the top of that. If you look, you'll see that hair is pretty thin. We should be able to read a newspaper through it. Placing our foil at the base. Pull that hair over 
the edge of the foil. And I come in and make sure, and I kind of just curve that foil to the curve of the head. Apply that product underneath the edge of the foil. Work it through those ends. If the hair is really long, don't come in and swirl it, but lift it back up and place it on that foil so that it's nice and neat. Again, we want to keep those foils nice and neat and clean as we're working up the head. So we're going to come in. I'm going to finish this up to that center, and then we'll come back and start in the front left panel. Okay, now, so we're finishing up our very last parting, and I want it to finish up just so that you guys could see the X pattern at the end of this. So again, my quarter of an inch section, I was slicing this side just to show you a little bit diff something different. I'm coming in, supply my foil, and our same fashion we have been using, apply our product, work that down, pull those ends back up if that hair is a little bit longer. Go back, work that product to about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the foil. Same folding technique we've been using. Now, if what you'll notice, I'm just going to kind of move these, this hair out of the way. You have your X pattern from one side to the other. Again, this is going to give you a great, a little bit more coverage um, than a partial. And I counted before I finished this up, 11, I have 16 foils in the top of the head. Again, it's a really quick, easy way to do another form of a partial foil. If that client wears the center part, I would suggest going in back to your triangle in the middle and adding a couple of highlights in this area. If they wear it parted on one side or the other, you're covered.